when we build a self-driving car right now, that it's not as good as a human driver, obviously, because it still makes mistakes and makes mistakes in some situations where people wouldn't. But it makes fewer mistakes on average than a human does. So even though it's not a perfect mind yet, it is one that is at certain tasks better than people. And if a self-driving car is on average better than people, even if it makes mistakes, we have to make a decision as a society. What do we value? Do we want to value human life or do we value human agency? If we value human agency, we should uh, remove humans from decision making in these domains. The same thing is true for airplanes. There's this thing if you have an autopilot in an airplane, uh, it sometimes makes mistakes that a person doesn't make. So the person has an opportunity to turn it off. Yet it turns out that in uh, most of the cases where the human turns it off, the autopilot was right and it shouldn't have been turned off. So uh, if, if that holds true for most of the cases, we should send the pilots home, right? I mean, uh, we eventually will build a system where the humans cannot uh, change the decisions of the autopilot in critical situations, only change them in uncritical situations. There's also this difficulty that, for instance, a few years ago, there was a German Wings pilot who turned off the autopilot because he wanted to commit suicide and he successfully flew uh, the airplane into a mountainside. And uh, so people argued uh, in the critical situation, the human should be unable to turn off the autopilot, which kind of sort of defeats the meaning of human agency, right? So if we care about human agency, I think it uh, follows that a pilot who is completely committed to uh, suicide should be able to do that. It's a very paradoxical and strange situation because we don't know how to deal with this. There are many other situations like this. In, for instance, in politics, when you decide on, the, on a policy or in administration in a company, uh, should people make the call or should the machine make the call if you can show that the machine is on average better than a human being? So uh, there are many situations where the machines are better on average and uh, that are not that critical because they don't decide so much over people but over situations. And in many of these situations we remove people from the equation and put machines in. And the machines can perform tasks like as personal assistants in a phone that even though they are worse than people, uh, it would be much too expensive to hire a personal assistant who looks up information for me on my phone like Siri does. right? So. Uh, this is going to be a tremendous change that already started and it started uh, so gradually that maybe some of us didn't notice but we see this in, in the difference or we see this when our children ask us how did you do this 10 years ago or before we were born because they don't know it any different. Mm -hmm.